Hi guys, welcome to the learning tunnel. Today we will learn to solve addition and subtraction word problems and to write an equation or number sentence to go along with it. So grab some paper and a pencil and some objects you can use to help you count and let's get ready to solve some problems. Our goal for today says I can solve addition and subtraction word problems with sums up to 10. Before we begin, let me introduce you to two of my friends. This is Put Together Patty. She loves getting more things to add to her collections. Patty will help us today when we are adding. This is my friend Takeaway Tim. He loves to give things away to see how many are left over. Tim will help us to remember when we need to take one number away from the other or subtract. All right, here's our first problem. It says, on Monday, Jalil ran five laps around the track. He ran three more laps on Tuesday. How many laps did he run in all? First, I need to think about what the problem is asking me to do and figure out if I need to add or subtract the numbers. I learned from reading the problem that Jalil ran five laps one day, and then on another day, he ran three more laps. Now I need to think about what I need to do with those numbers. Am I putting them together and adding like put together Patty? Or am I taking one number away from the other to subtract like take away 10? In order for me to see how many laps he ran in all, I need to combine the two numbers. This means I need to add and put together Patty helped me to realize that. Here's my picture to represent Jalil running five laps on Monday, plus three more laps on Tuesday. I'll pause here to give you a moment to see if you can add up the total number of laps that he ran. When I add five plus three more, the total is eight. I can write an equation using numbers and symbols to model the problem. Five plus three equals eight. All right, now it's your turn, guys. Use your paper to draw a picture to show what's happening, or you can use your counters to model the problem. It says, Casia had eight pencils. She gave four of them to her friends. How many pencils does she have now? Now remember, the first thing we need to do is think about what the problem is asking us to solve. We need to figure out what happens if Casia started out with eight pencils but then gives four of them away. We need to know how many are left. So are we putting numbers together and adding like put together Patty? Or should we think about take away Tim and find out how many are left if we subtract the numbers? Which one of these friends do you think can help us solve this problem? If you said take away Tim, then you are correct. We need to subtract to show what happened after Casia gave away four of her pencils. I'll pause for a moment so you can draw a picture to model what happens when you start with eight and take away four. Here's my picture that shows the eight pencils Casia started with and what happened when she gave four pencils away. And here's what the finished problem looks like. If we start with eight and take away four, we are left with four. Eight minus four equals four. All right, here's the next problem. Iris saw three birds sitting in a tree. Then three more birds flew over. How many birds are in the tree now? Okay, friends. First thing we need to do is think about what the problem is asking us to solve. Take a moment and think about it. Okay, if you said that we need to figure out how many birds are in the tree if you start with three and add three more, or something similar to that, then you are correct. Which character can help us with this problem? If you said put together Patty, you are also correct. She'll help us remember to add the two sets of numbers. Take a moment to draw a picture to model the problem to show what happens when you start with three and add three more. 
Here's my picture to represent what happens if we start with three birds in the tree and then three more come along. Now it's time to add up all the birds. Take a moment and count it all up. If we start with three and add three more, the total number is six. Three plus three equals six. Notice the equation I wrote on the bottom of the screen and how it matches what happened in the problem. Here's our next problem. Wesley was holding 10 balloons. A strong wind blew and seven balloons flew away. How many balloons does he have left? I want you to take a moment to think about what we need to figure out and practice saying it in a sentence. If you said something like, we need to figure out how many balloons are left if you start with 10 and take away seven, then you are correct. Which character helps us to remember what to do with the numbers 10 and seven? Take away Tim. He'll help us remember to start with 10 and subtract seven. Take a moment to draw a picture to model the problem. This is a good time to pause so you can do your work. Here's my picture that shows what happens if you start with 10 balloons and then take away seven of them. Does your picture look similar to mine? It's okay if you did it differently, just as long as you show what happens when you start with 10 and take away seven. Now here's my answer with a matching equation. 10 minus seven equals three. All right, friends, now I wanna see how much you've learned. I'll read the next problem, and then I want you to solve it without my help. Don't forget to think about who can help you solve the problem. Also, don't forget to draw a picture to model your problem, and then see if you can write an equation to match. Here's your problem. Ishmael had eight trucks. He bought two more trucks. What is the total number of trucks that he has now? This is a good spot to pause so you can do your work. All right, here's my picture that shows what happens when you start with eight and add two more. You have a total of 10. Eight plus two equals 10. Does your picture look similar to mine? Does your equation look like mine? If it does, great job. If not, that's okay. Just keep practicing and you'll get better and better. All right, guys, that's the end of our work for today. If you'd like more practice, check out some of the addition and subtraction resources available from the Learning Tunnel. Click the links in the description box for worksheets and printables, including take away Tim and put together patty posters that you can download instantly.